Hey guys, we're back with uh, Republic of China, Victoria 2. Uh, when we left off, we won World War 3 against the British and, I don't know, some other country. And now we're gonna move on. Okay, so I was thinking we should invade, like, it's not a very good idea, but I think we should invade Iceland. And then we could have, like, a little port here. And we could just like invade them slowly, especially Scandinavia, because not, they're not very strong at this time. Um, or I could just invade Afghanistan, and then I will be able to have access to Persia, and then I can go to Iraq and Turkey and Syria and Jordan, and to all those little Middle Eastern countries. And Afghanistan isn't particularly strong, so it'll be very easy to take. I think I'll do that, yeah. I'm not going to get too ambitious. So it's the Soviet Union. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Oh, what we could do leave the Soviets. Work. I'll do it anyway, but what I was thinking is if we got too, so friendly with them, if we got very friendly with them, they wouldn't mind us invading Afghanistan. But the thing is that they're not allies, they're in this theater. So that wouldn't work, I think. Britain is practically holding hands with every other country, so <laughs> can't do that. Do you know what? I think I'll get Laos. Who cares? I need, I need to do something. <laughs> I need to do something meanwhile. Okay, let's go to this. Another team first. Nations are too high. Oh. Fuck you, Laos. I hate you. No, don't say it. Okay, well, I think we'll just insult them a bit. <clears throat> Oh yeah, sorry I've been gone for a while. I've had some school stuff I had to take care of. People are still leaving the country at an alarming rate. That's okay, because I'll just take all the neighboring country they're fleeing to, and then I'll just come back into my country. I think that's how it works. Oh, cool, now I can do it. Conquest the size. Brilliant. Okay. 450 days. It's quite a lot. It used to not be that much. Oh well, I'm not complaining. So yeah, we definitely have the manpower to do what we want. But from my past experience, I'm pretty sure like Chinese units aren't as good as other country units. So we're probably going to lose a lot of men real quick. Spread out our units so that they die from nutrition. So yeah, I just bought Men of War Assault Squad 2. So if anyone wants to see that, I could make some like custom, like custom battles using the as well. Be interested. Uh, just thinking who I can grab. Tunis is always an easy option. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. Oh yeah. This is really cool. This is what I really like about this mod. They have like East and West Germany, which I think is absolutely awesome. It's very accurate. You can take like East Germany while it's still separate. I won't do that. I don't think I'll take anything of Europe. I'm not going to get too ambitious. 
I've made that mistake many times before. It doesn't end well. Let's see if I can make any decisions. So, at the end of the year, I'm going to go to Germany, which is pretty cool. It's unrelated, but I just want to share that. So, I'll share my experience, hopefully. Maybe I'll have, like, a Germany Let's Play to, like, you know, roleplay and stuff. Yes, I don't know how to, if anyone has any advice on how to stop everyone, like, fleeing my country, that would be great. I can't stop it. How can I stop this? Why is this close? We need more factories. Music is not on. Game option. Hmm. Whoa. We s we haven't even. We haven't even manned like half of our manpower, half of our brigade. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick. Oh, I like relating to the whole Chinese Civil War thing. I I watched this movie called The Assembly. It's pretty cool. You should see it. It's about this um, nationalist captain, and he like he fights in the Civil War. It's called Assembly. Watch it. It's it's in Chinese, but it has subtitles, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, we're just pretty much waiting for Cosy Bellis to you know, finish. I think we might build a couple of. Ooh, that's sick. Technology technological advances have opened up a new frontier, space. Scientists from all major nations are now putting into practice plans to send nationalist assets into orbit in order for their country to be the first to reap the benefits from those technologies. The most ambitious plan being a manned mission to the moon and back, which could strengthen our place in the world as well as providing valuable scientific data for our research. Oh yeah, we're going to go to the moon. So yeah, we'll probably want to build a couple more factories. Crisis. Bolivia has asked us to back the size of the current crisis. What is the current crisis? The liberation of Paraguay. Hmm. Oh, no. I don't think that will. If it's not within Asia, I'm not very interested. 
Let's see what happens there. Come with in our country. Better schools. We need to teach our children. <laughs> Right now we have an expedition to the moon and we're about to invade Laos. I think we'll be doing that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I have been the Labo King and I'll see you later.